hey guys welcome back to my channel i asked you guys on instagram if you wanted to see a haul or a makeup collection video first you guys picked haul which is pretty surprising i didn't think y'all wanted to see another haul but in a way i'm not surprised so we're going to be doing a haul or i'm gonna do a haul today and you guys are gonna see all the things i got i went to walmart i went to target and ulta yeah, so I got a couple things from each place. I did a return at Ulta and I got something else. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe. A makeup collection video is gonna be coming though. So, or like a vanity slash, vanity slash bookshelf tour. If you follow me on Instagram, you know. But I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get into all this makeup because I'm really excited. I might do a video where I show you guys how I organize everything as well because I have a lot of new makeup so I don't want to redo the makeup collection video again after just buying this makeup. I can just show you guys when I organize it. If you guys want to see like organizing videos, I think that's so aesthetic and just relaxing. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into the video so I can show you guys what I got. So I have a couple um, things right in front of me. So I'm just going to do Walmart and Ulta first and then we'll get into the Target after. Okay, so I went, um, I got a Madison Beer palette. If you guys remember from my birthday, I did like an Ulta haul not too long ago and I got the Madison Beer palette. However, I ended up returning it. Personal reasons, I just didn't really see myself using it. So um, I went ahead and exchanged it and I actually ended up getting something I saw in store. I thought I was gonna order this. Let me make sure my lashes are on because they always play me. So I went into Ulta and I was just kind of browsing around really fast till I finally came across ColourPop on a tower towards the back and I saw it was just there. It was the Powerpuff Girls collection and I was, like I told you guys before, I was gonna wait for it to go on sale because I know they be doing that. So I was gonna wait for it to go on sale but then I was like either, I wait for it to go on sale or I go get it in store so I don't have to pay shipping. And I found it in store. I didn't get the lip glosses that I wanted because I'll wait for them to go on sale. They're like 20 something dollars and I was like for some lip gloss, I don't know. But I just ended up um, leaving that to the side. So I got the Powerpuff, I always wanna say Powder Puff, the Powerpuff Girls um, eyeshadow palette, which is beautiful. You can also see the names here on the back and every little detail, I love it. I love this, I used to watch them, not all the time, but I kinda remember watching them. This is what the inside looks like. This is what the inside looks like it's super cute i love the details honestly it's all packaging over here and it's so cute look at this little unicorn <laughs> so funny it is beautiful it's more prettier in person than i thought it comes with the clear plastic of course and then the peel off thing these pants are huge i'm pretty sure they're bigger than i'm gonna touch it i'm pretty sure they're bigger than like their traditional color pot pans and even the mini palettes, I'm pretty sure this, this one's bigger. It comes with a good size mirror, which I always appreciate a mirror. It's so cute. It also has some of the prints, kind of like the Maddie Ziegler palette. So I'm really excited that I got this palette. I say that about every palette, but I really have been wanting the Powerpuff Girls collection. I kind of want the whole thing, but I know I'm not going to use everything. So some stuff I can go without. But it's just so cute. I cannot wait. Getting new makeup really inspires me to do more makeup videos. I'm just gonna go for it. Hopefully the lighting is fine. I need to not think too much about it and just do makeup tutorials or even if I do it on somebody else. So that's the first thing that I got. And the only thing that I ended up getting from Ulta. Oh my gosh, let's move on to Walmart next. Guys, I was going on and on about this. Oh my, well not really, I was like doing one post. But yesterday on Instagram, I was telling you guys how I went to find this collection online and it was just being fake. Walmart was playing me. So long story short, you guys told me to order on the Profusion website, but some stuff is sold out. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. After Ulta, we went straight to Walmart. And as soon as I was about to walk out, I saw it and I was just so happy. I didn't see anything else from the um, collection, but this is the main thing I wanted. So I'm not complaining. I got my hands on the Mean Girls and Profusion palette or yearbook, if you will. This is the coolest thing ever. I feel like more brands need to do this for a drugstore brand to do this and not even high end, girl. So this is literally like a yearbook. It's so pretty. It says open me. I love the details. I mean, come on. If you're a Mean Girls fan or just a pinkaholic, like you need this palette. It is limited edition. I, I know it's 
in a bundle online or something like that i don't know if it's like a bundle i know there's a bundle some individual stuff um i wish they had a pr box but they didn't they have one that looks like a pr box but it's not the pr box it's like a pal or is it a palette i guess it comes with a palette the brushes and a mirror which i was gonna get that but i was like it's okay i really just want the palette and you open it and it's like a little locker i'm guessing look at this cute detail and look at all of the colors how fun does this palette look you have pressed glitters you have um pinks honestly if this was on its own from pro fusion i probably wouldn't buy it but because it's in the mean girls packaging and it's just pink and mean girls inspired i had to get it it's so funny look it says most likely to make out with their first cousin miss karen smith so funny but i really am just so happy you get 35 shades in here i cannot wait to play with this palette i love how there's the christmas photo anything christmasy like i want it and i'm just so happy i found it and it says limited edition you can peel off the sticker but i'm not going to because any pink detail we're gonna keep so yeah if you can get your hands on anything from the mean girls collection do so because you just can't pass that up it's it's iconic it's iconic how exciting are these two i'm just i'm, I'm ready like let's organize let's play with some makeup okay so a couple more things that i got from walmart a few of these are restocks i was gonna get them at target but i don't know i ended up paying i think less at walmart but anyways i got a restock of the maybelline fit me foundation into 20 i love this foundation i've been through so many of them already like i've gone through bottles and bottles of it it's so good i love it it's like if my client is like what are you using you're using maybelline yes i'm using maybelline because it's that good and it's a great foundation for anybody okay so the next thing i got is this nyx can't stop won't stop concealer i typically use medium olive that was the first one i bought but i ended up going with the true beige because i mean the sun has been going in and out and right now it's like super dark and thunderstorm so i feel well it hasn't been raining a lot but it has kind of for the summer but I feel like my face doesn't get tan and then my neck doesn't either because I usually wear a hat or sunscreen. But the rest of my body is pretty dark. It's thundering. I should charge my phone just in case the lights go out. Cause, mm -mm. But I ended up getting this color, which is a true beige, which I think will work good. Especially because I don't mind a bright under eye these days. I kind of switch, but I'm sure this one will work great or even work for the rest of my face. I think it would match really well. And it's a good concealer. I really like it. So if I repurchased it then it's a good one and these these two together are like the best combination so i like that oh my goodness this next couple things are just so cute you would think they're for a little niña or something but i am a little niña so this is the oh you gotta shake it it's like the this is literally like the spongebob one which i need to use because hopefully i'll use this one because it's really cute this is actually a lavender scent it is the fm wet and wild three-in-one face mist so i'm sure you guys are familiar with the original like face like coconut spray water aloe vera rose this is a new one i don't know what fm means or if it's a collab or what it is but it's really shimmery it looks like the iconic london ones or the spongebob and um wet and wild collab <laughs> so that's what it looks like the packaging has little stars this is me like ugh, this is me in a makeup brand that it would be really cute because it's pink and it's sparkly and it's just a good hydrating spray so i had to get it it was only like four something so i got that and then i couldn't pass these up i know i don't know if i told you guys but i do my own nails at home like gel because i was in cosmetology school in high school and i have the lamp and i love to buy some stuff on amazon that are like gel colors so i do my own nails hands and feet at home but i couldn't pass these up these are regular nail polishes they're from la colors uh, they're good just to kind of because i switch my nails way too often to just spend so much money on like an se nail polish or an opi hopefully you guys can see but this one's like a baby pink and then this one's like a pearlescent gold and pink which is like the perfect combination and the packaging is just so cute for cute they were only like a dollar or two oh, they're so cute like i want a nail rack with like pretty colors on there sometimes you just need to chill and eat some goldfish which i wanted to shout these out because i actually got these at target as well i guess they're part of the haul these are princess goldfish which actually are in the shapes of a princess and the fish and it's tangled or rapunzel if you will these are really good it says special edition cheddar and not goldfish i feel like don't taste they taste like saltine crackers these days these are really cheesy and just bring me back to when goldfish were actually like 
cheesy and these are so all right guys next up is a tarjay target i'm gonna show you guys what i got from target i got a good amount of things um yeah i was really pumped to find this collection at the last minute i remembered i was like oh my gosh Ma, i need to go look and see if they have the um cherry collection and all the like pretty collections from wet and wild and was it wet and wild yeah, went wild and I found them. So I'm I'm excited. Let me show you guys what I got. I have so much new makeup to put away. First thing I got at, at Target are just these little travel size Lysol wipes. I'm just gonna add too many. And they're the lemon and lime blossom scent. I also got this really cute t-shirt. It's huge though. I think it's gonna be a little bit too big. It's an extra large, but it's fine because I can wear it with biker shorts or wear it to bed. Um, It's a really soft camisa. And it's so cute. It's Winnie the Pooh. Piglet was my favorite when I was little. And it still is. Love it. It's just ah, childhood. But it's so pretty. It's really comfy. And I can always use more t-shirts. Um, I should probably oh, I should probably buy shirts that are my size. Because I literally need clothes that like are my size. It's like the same color or lighter as... I don't know. Is it lighter or darker? It feels like it's going to be comfortable. Really soft. And this one was $13. I also got my hands on this collection, went in and I was gonna get more but I was like no girl stop. So I got this really pretty My Cherry Amour limited edition, they're all limited edition. My Cherry Amour face palette, I'm guessing they're blushes. So so pretty. I love all of the pink, it's just so pretty. It's like a darker deeper color, like a peach, really like that one. And then I got this one which I've been wanting, it's probably like the same other packaging just in this packaging. This one is the In Love with Coco. And this one is like a brightening and bronzing color of uh, face powder. And then I got these, the Wet n Wild My Cherry Amore Face Palette, or uh, Pigment Palette. And then this one's the Wet n... I keep saying that. The Passion. Passion Session and My Cherry Amore. So, 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 so pretty. This one is so pretty. I feel like I'm going to use this one a lot. And then this one was a little bit out there. It has a green in it, which I wasn't thinking I was going to get it, but I wanted to give it a try and use some of the colors. You'll have to wait for me to open it because I don't want to open them yet. Um, I'm very weird about that. Like now I don't want to open stuff until I know I'm going to use it because then it'll expire quicker, you know, because if you're not using it, it's just going to be opened. I love those. Like their whole gondola or end cap with like they had a, um, a yellow one that almost these almost look like ColourPop little nine palettes, but really pretty. And then I had to get a lip gloss. This is the Cherry Amour as well. They have like a face, eyes, and lip cheek thing. So these all go together. I got the lip um, duo. So pretty, love the gloss. I definitely need to do a red lip. So is there a hair? But yeah, I am really excited to do looks with these and just test them out and just collect them because they're so pretty. I feel like a lot of pretty makeup is limited edition, but it's okay because at least I have limited edition makeup. I hope you guys don't mind if I do makeup with limited edition stuff. But either way, I love everything I got and I'm happy that I got my hands on it because I was going to get it online, but I'm so glad I found them in store. They were also stocked enough to get at least one of each. So go to your Target and see if you can find some. That was everything that I got for this haul. It was a pretty big haul, I would say. I got a good amount of stuff. I hope you guys will go get these products as well if you like them. I feel like there's literally a hair in my mouth. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more hauls. I know you guys love hauls. And subscribe because you don't want to miss the makeup collection slash vanity tour video. So definitely you don't want to miss that. Put on your notifications so you know when it goes up. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you if you are going to subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Comment down below what else I should get. If there's new makeup I should buy. Let's talk in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next one.